Hey, good morning. I'm going to read to you out of Psalm 126, verses 1 through 4. It says, When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with laughter, and we sang for joy, and the other nations said, What amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. <clears throat> Restore our fortunes, O Lord, as streams renew the desert. You know, when we read through this psalm, it's easy to zero in on the phrases that connect with our positive emotions. Phrases like, it was like a dream, or we were filled with laughter, we sang for joy. The Lord has done amazing things for us. It all sounds so nice and sweet and pleasant, except that ignores the context from which the psalm is given. Verse 1 establishes that context for us, and it's important. It says in verse 1, When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, Consider that. Brought back his exiles. That establishes the circumstance. Judah had been in captivity for 70 years. For 70 years, the city of Jerusalem had been desolate. For 70 years, the temple had been destroyed. For 70 years, the vast majority of the people of Israel <clears throat> had either been killed or captive in Babylon. At the conclusion of that time, Ezra the scribe wrote these words through the Holy Spirit. So the point is this. Psalm 126 isn't written from a rosy, trouble-free, painless existence. It's written from heartache, suffering, and loss. It's a reminder that even in the worst possible circumstances, the Lord is working good for his people. So while you may be tempted to focus on the bleakness of your current situation, this psalm encourages you to eagerly look forward to the amazing things the Lord is going to do as he delivers you <laughs> from whatever you may be going through. Pray with me. Lord, you did not promise us a pain-free life. You did not promise us that we would never have struggles, that we would never go through trials. In fact, Lord Jesus, you told your followers that because of their faith in you, there would be times that they would have to walk through trials. Lord, I thank you for passages like Psalm 126 that remind us that you have done amazing things even in the midst of our grief, our sorrow, our trials. And so Lord, help us not to look so much at all of the pain and struggle of the moment, but help us to look to you as you work to bring us through so that we might say, like the psalmist, what amazing things the Lord has done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.